Hey everybody, everybody. Hey everyone. Um, oh, it's me. I'm back. I went to the store and uh, I've been having a hankering for mozzarella sticks. So. I language but that shit pisses me off highly highly you mean to tell me because you have a whole issue with fucking immigrants you want the rest of us to uh, oh this is about as bad as me having a freaking go around chicago with my birth certificate like are you fucking kidding me right now anyway <laughs> I digress. I tried not to water those seeds of anger, but sometimes, you know, these damn idiots. You're going to need a real ID because I want to know who's an uh, immigrant and, and who's a citizen. Which, it's still going to cause people to deport citizens anyway. Because, I don't know about you, but I know back in the 1920s, there was a whole issue with Mexican immigrants, just like there is currently. And they were deporting those of us who were born here in America. So it doesn't matter if you're a U.S. born citizen or not. They're still going to try to deport you. And there's been incidences where U.S. citizens who are of other Latin descents, of other Latin heritages, of other Latin heritage, who got deported, who got detained in an ICE facility because they thought that they were Mexican. Oh, yeah, let's do this. How about y'all can suck my dick? I can't believe this. Like, I'm so upset right now. Highly upset. Like, beyond upset. Are these still a little bit green still though? Yeah, they're still a little green. I am highly, highly upset. Because why? As you can tell, I am very upset. Oh, you need a more passport. You need a whole passport just to drive, just to fly into uh uh uh, uh in, in the country? Are you freaking kidding me, bro? You got to be a whole more mom. Now I got to text my baby daddy to let him know that if my kid is exempt 
from that because he's got a military uh, uh, pass, a military ID. Waste of my time, waste of life. Whoever invented that should just walk, walk around and figure it out. Wink, wink. That's the type of stuff that it gets murked. Murked. Miserked. Bizerked. That just made me so mad. It's one thing to have to have people who work in an airport with the 3D TSA, you know, the certain TSA badge or certain uh, uh, work badge for, for an airport. That's one thing. I don't mind that. Go for it. As for the rest of us, having to have a special ID just to travel domestically, like, where do they do that at? And this is just, and the funny thing, about, no, that's really not funny, it's more eerie than funny. The eerie thing about it is, it's a yellow star. Eerie or no? I don't know about you, but from my history lessons, I remember yellow stars were given... Jewish people had to register that they were Jewish, and eventually they ended up getting thrown in gas chambers uh, and starved to death. And then prior to that, it was the Africans being stolen from West Africa. I... I'm 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 really upset. I'm really upset right now. I really am. Cause why? Why? Just why? Fuck. I really have to <laughs> organize this crap in here. Have some more. Why? If it ain't one thing, it's another, right? Next thing you're gonna ask me. <sighs> Next thing y'all gonna ask for is blood type and eye color. Retina skin. And it's not like y'all ain't already doing this garbage anyway. Y'all be doing the utmost. The utmost. I can't. Like, what's next? Y'all gonna try to anally probe us too? Y'all gonna put a a, a a a tracker in us? I hate this. Wait. I mean, what the fuck? I don't get it. 
I don't mother effing get it. What do you want? What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Anyway, I digress. I am over here making fried green tomatoes and mozzarella sticks. So, I put two eggs. This is a flour. I put some black pepper and some salt in it. This is the bed crumb, bed crumbs for the uh, mozzarella sticks. I feel like Adam Lambert. What do you want from me? We're going to make you register that you're Latino. So then when it's time when it's time when it comes time to deport people, we're going to accidentally forget that you're born in the United States of America and we're going to deport you back to Mexico. Signed sincerely the United States government. Y'all can eat a dude. And I try not to cuss. I really do. But sometimes stuff like that pisses you off. Oh, I got water. Don't stop us now. And that really pisses me off. Fried green tomato. I've been having all types of weird old dreams. You know, I don't need any more weird old dreams coming to me. Last night, I had a really weird dream. I don't know who this person was. <sighs> what do you think? I can make some fried onion rings with this. The key is to cut them um, a half an inch to an inch thick, like steak tomatoes. Ugh. 
I always want to make sure they're cut like this. Just maybe less than an inch thick. By the way, I should just forewarn you. Never cut a tomato the way I'm cutting. This is this is an improper way to cut. You want to put it on a cutting board. But I've been cooking since I was what six, seven. So I know what I'm doing. Anybody else you want to put it on a cutting board and cut it that way? Maybe I'll do that for this one. Shift. So you want to take the tomato, you want to put it on the cutting board, and don't put it up on one of these. I'm just doing this for time reasons. You never hold a knife like this because it's going to give you arthritis eventually. You always want to hold your knife like the way my, I'm holding my knife. And you always want to grip your hands like a claw because if you don't and if they're stretched out, you're going to cut your fingers. These are all my fried green tomatoes. They started turning red, so that's why I was like, no, I need to go. What in the fuck is that? Oh, that's being tossed out. I have no idea what the fuck that is. I don't know what that is. That's getting tossed out. The rest of it's fine. I don't know what that is. It looks weird. Alright, so. Bring it off again. Alright, so. I'm not, I don't think I want to cook all of these, but I'm not. these little tomatoes and flour we're gonna whisk the eggs
I use vegetable oil to fry. Because it's less fatty. I'm not going to put a whole lot of vegetable oil. Wiping this part out because I'm going to use this one for the mozzarella. I'm going to chill for a bit because they're dairy. Alright, so what I'm going to do is this. Move this from over there so it's not going to catch fire. I'm going to turn on the stove. take my my tomato slice go to in the eggs take the tomato slice coat in the eggs and coat it in and corn meal. Shake the excess off. Wait for that. And wait for that to heat up. Dip it in the flour first, and then dip it in the egg, and then dip it in the cornmeal. Somebody liked my, uh, comment on a post that I made yesterday. So what I do is the water that's in my hand I 
put it in the egg, then dip it in the flour, then come back to the Maybe that's what I do. Because it didn't say anything about dipping it in the egg first and dip it back in the egg and then put it in the cornmeal. All these got like $2 for a dozen eggs. I'm like, the hood? They are so expensive. Shake off the excess. Put it in the pan. Okay, so. I watched CSI Los Angeles last night and it was so cute. I was like, oh, it reminded me of me when I thought I was pregnant the first time. I didn't get quite the Deeks style, you know, from the guy I was with, but, oh. Yeah, don't do that either if you work for a restaurant. Under the sea. Under the sea. Take it from me. I wipe the pan off. After I pour it, because I don't want the bottom of it burning. Under the sea. Ha! 
And I am gonna come right back. All right, love you. Doing this, that you'd be a millionaire. Congratulations, you never had that job. I take the money. They're offering a, a million, a million dollar figure. Psh, take the money, bro. Take the money. All right, all right, all right. So I'm gonna get off of here. That was my fried green tomatoes. I will see you in the next one. Look for the next video. Mozzarella sticks. Ew. Love you. Peace.